What's up Guardians, it's your boy Doodle from Doodles of Destiny, and today I want to share a quick loadout you can use to get that 100k in this week's Nightfall featuring Exodus Crash. But before I get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to receive Destiny 2 news, tricks and tips, and all sorts of Destiny 2 content. Now in Season 15 being Season of the Lost, I would highly recommend taking advantage of the Fusion Rifle meta. Pairing any fusion rifle with the armor mod Particle Deconstruction will give you a huge advantage in any high content activity. Now in this week's Nightfall, you will be facing fallen enemies with overload champions and barrier champions. You will also be facing shielded enemies, specifically void shield servitors, arc shield captains, and solar shield shanks. There are some modifiers to be aware of as well that might influence your build. This week's modifiers are Scorched Earth, Overload Champions, Barrier Champions, Equipment Locked, Match Game, and Thavix's Implant. As far as weapons go, I would have to say running something like Anti-Barrier Auto Rifles with Divinity or an Overload Bow and a Strong Linear Fusion Rifle or Sword should get the job done fine. I wouldn't say it's 100% necessary to have all mods on, as long as one of you has an anti-barrier mod and one of you has an overload mod, you should be just fine. The Nightfall weapons dropping this week are Shadow Price Auto Rifle and the Comedian Shotgun, so if these are some of the weapons you're farming for, I would definitely give this Nightfall a go. In the first part of this Nightfall, you will be collecting wells. As you make your way forward through this map, you will be facing Vandal Snipers and some Dregs on Pikes. I would recommend taking out the snipers immediately and keeping a very good distance from these pikes as they will each kill you in about 1-2 to two shots. Once you've collected all the wells and you have made your way to the back of this first room, you will face your first wave of adds with an overload fallen captain. Once you have killed the champion, the door will open and lead you into a hallway corridor with more adds and another overload champion. Once you have cleared the hallway, you will be in a smallish kind of room defending a plate from enemies. Before you interact with this plate, I would recommend clearing the room as if you don't, you will be flooded from every corner. Once you have started this encounter, you will be flooded with tons of adds, champions, and shielded enemies. I would definitely recommend having at least one warlock running Middle Tree Dawnblade throughout this strike, as Well of Radiance is a great tool for keeping you and your fire team alive. After you have defeated all the enemies in the room, and believe me, there are a lot, you will make your way down a corridor to the public area of Nessus, where you will be collecting more wells. Just like in the first encounter, you will also be stalked by a roving pack of pikes, so make sure you take them out as they will kill you if you're not careful. Once you have collected all the wells, you will hop on your sparrow and move to the next room where you will be facing a giant minotaur and a fallen walker. Once you have defeated both the Fallen and Vex enemies, you will enter the Exodus Crash Shite. You will find yourself in a dark room with a few difficult enemies, but I wouldn't stress too much in this room as it usually is a pretty quick run through. Once you have cleared this room, you will be ready to jump down and face the boss in the final encounter. There isn't really too many spots you can set up to cheese this boss, but as long as you can keep on top of the waves of ads coming, you, you should be okay. Anyways Guardians, that's all the time I have to focus on this week's Nightfall. If this video helps you get those sweet Nightfall weapons, hit the like button and leave a comment down below with your favorite Nightfall weapons rolls. And as always, this is Doodle from Doodles of Destiny.